going on guys welcome to the december 2021 blu-ray haul this is the final blu-ray haul for 2021 even though it's 2022 you get what i mean so we're going to be talking about all the blu-rays i got in the month of december i didn't get many because it was christmas time <laughs> and i figured i'd be getting some for christmas and i got one of them for christmas but i did get a couple and so this video is probably gonna be really short so let's get right into this blu-ray haul all right so up first this was released at the beginning of December and this is uh, the Karate Kid trilogy you have uh, Karate Kid Karate Kid part 2 Karate Kid part 3 I've only seen the first two the first one's really good second one's okay haven't seen the third one yet these are on 4k uh, I wish <clears throat> it's called the Karate Kid collection I wish but don't wish at the same time, because <laughs> I've heard nothing but terrible things. They did have Karate Kid 4, the next uh, the next Karate Kid, I think it's called, the one with Hillary Swank. It still is part of the series, you know, it's not a spin-off, it's actually the Karate Kid 4, so. This is the first three on 4K. I kind of wish it also had the remake, but, but it is what it is. It's the first three. Really looking forward to watching the third one, and then I'll go right into Cobra Kai. And uh, the artwork on the back of these is actually pretty cool. Um, I've held off on watching Cobra Kai until I finished watching these, so yeah, that's this collection. No problems to report in terms of audio, so that's good. For singular Blu-rays, we have one of my favorite movies of the year, and that is The Last Duel. An uncomfortable, dirty, icky feeling movie, but extremely well made, extremely acted, extremely well directed. I haven't rewatched it since I got it, uh, but I'm going to do a rewatch of this movie, see if it still holds up. I think that it's I think it's really good. I think it's Ridley Scott's best movie of the year. A lot better than House of Gucci. Up next, this movie's on Netflix, but I really don't give a shit. Having a physical copy of this movie is a lot better. The Mitchells vs. The Machines. Loved it. My favorite animated movie of the year. Rewatched it. Still amazing. Still so good. Still so relatable. If you haven't seen this movie, it is on Netflix. Definitely check it out. It's also on Blu-ray from Sony Pictures. Buy the Blu-ray, support physical media. Thank you very much. <laughs> and last but not least. <laughs> I got no time to die for Christmas. Still my favorite movie of 2021, as you saw on my top 10, on my uh, best movies of the year list. Bond is back with a vengeance. My home media ownership of the Bond series is now complete. When I started watching these, I was but the learner, now I am the master. There you go, no time to die. And uh, that's it for the Blu-ray haul. So what'd you guys think of this Blu-ray haul? Did you pick up any other Blu-rays in the month of December? Uh, there's only, there, like I said at the beginning, there's only a few Blu-rays in this video because it was Christmas time and I had to hold off. I wasn't sure what I was getting for Christmas. I didn't want to do that to my family where it was like I bought something and then they got it for me for Christmas. So whatever you guys got in December for Blu-rays, drop me some feedback in the comments section below. I'll leave my link to my website in the description below as well. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I'll see you with the movies somewhere.